I know, I know this video is late, but it's not without me trying. Hello, my name is Kyle, and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here. We're the conservative take. We take pop culture and politics, and we filter to you in a conservative manner. In other words, we filter to you right. Now, this week, when it comes to pop culture, nothing beats Nicki Minaj because she's always been over pop culture because she's got 22 million subscriber base just on Twitter alone. Well, she's also now been thrust into politics and she appears to be thinking for herself. Now, I have a video that will be posting later. Like I said, I tried to get this out earlier, but it's not without me trying. I tried to get it out, but technical difficulties, it's been a mess. But that video will come out a little bit later this afternoon. In that video, I highlight the whole backstory between her and Joy Reid and the whole nine there. And check that out if you don't know the story already. However, this is an important point that I want to bring up. And I may be doing more Nicki Minaj videos in the future if she keeps talking like this. She says here, she compares cancel culture to U.S. communist China. Don't y'all see what the F is going on or what's happening? You know what? We're going to talk about this because she nails this okay now i will say i am not a Nicki minaj fan i didn't even know who she was until recently for various reasons and the thing about her is is that she speaks her mind she's her own opinion she's her own person agree with her or not she has her free speech you know intact okay she says what she wants to say and she does it and so that's one thing i respect about her in terms of that and another thing about Nicki Minaj is she's not one to back down. So again, check out the actual video that I'm going to do a little bit later, but I'm going to just, for the sake of this video, I'm going to kind of bring you up to speed. So Nicki Minaj refused to go to a gala, the Met Gala, because she didn't want to get the JAB. Okay. She didn't want to, she said, I want to look over it. I want to pray over it. She said, if you guys want to do it, check with your family. She basically said, make a decision for yourself. I'm totally paraphrasing here, but she didn't tell anyone to do one thing or the other just to think and do for yourself she did mention something about a family member who told her that there was a situation where another person in her family or cousin had a situation in her in his lower extremities which caused a wedding to be canceled so that has some backlash but still that's again from her personal first-hand account of friends and family so again not telling anyone what to do or what not to do and so of course the left attacked her starting to eat their own and so here we have, this is from Breitbart, says here, as the mainstream media attacks her for expressing skepticism over the COOF, J-A-B, rap superstar Nicki Minaj has hit back against cancel culture, comparing it to the suppression of free speech in communist China. She is so correct there. We'll keep going. In a recent Instagram story, Nicki Minaj defended her right to question government authority. And that's what this comes down to is who do we believe? Do we believe the government? Or if we don't, can we question the government at least? You know, it's one thing to believe the government, but it's one thing to question the government and then be called out for it. One thing the founding fathers understood clearly is that the people had to have a voice in order to speak out against the government in case the government wasn't doing things properly. This is imperative for keeping a nation free, sharing ideas and having them be disputed, contrasted, compared, argued, in the free market of ideas. That's one thing that makes conservatism so awesome is that when you have an idea, you can put it out there and test it with other ideas and the best ideas float to the top. If you have crap ideas like what the left does, then no one actually wants to deal with them because they can't compete in that playing field of ideas. And so conservatism always wins out. Okay. The problem is what happens when you suppress those other views? then there's only one thing left. It's that bad, messed up, crap idea. In the movie Malcolm X, there was a scene in there, and this is what Denzel Washington came out with Spike Lee back in the 90s. There's one scene in there where Elijah Muhammad, who was head of the Nation of Islam, he was in a room with Malcolm X, and he was telling him a story. He had a glass of water, okay? And the water was clean, and he put some coffee grounds in the water. And then he said, he told him, he was like, you know, if you take this water and feed it to someone, they would drink it if they're thirsty. Then he took the water, put it away, and took a clean glass of water and poured that full. So he had a full glass of water on one side and a dirty looking glass of water on the other side. But he said they would drink the clean water every time if given the choice. And that's the thing. In the level playing field of ideas, 
conservatism will always win out over leftism or Marxism. Okay. And that is what Nicki Minaj is talking about. Let's keep going here. She says here, she did her whole thing in this Instagram story. She did. It was like 15 minutes long. I recommend everyone to go out there. Now her feed isn't very family friendly. So I, I warn you, her pictures are pretty provocative. So, but if you can just watch the video, you'll see in the video, you don't even see her. It's a picture for a ceiling, but again, going through a feed, just a fair warning for parents out there who want to send their kids to Nicki Minaj's Instagram feed, but I recommend it. She says, quote, you should be able to ask questions about anything you're putting inside your body, but you can't innocently ask a question about something going on in your body. She continued. I remember going to China and they were telling us you cannot speak out against the people in power there, etc. And I remember all of us thinking, okay, we understand and we respect the laws here. And that's so different from where we live. Now, this brings another big point. See, Nicki Minaj is world traveled. She is a huge superstar. So she has the perspective of outside of America. And that's what's so important. Now, I don't stand why people like LeBron James can't get this. I mean, because he's been to China, he's been these places, and you see the oppression and the lack of rights there. And you sit back and you're quiet here in America. It's absolutely ridiculous. Nicki Minaj is saying, look, I've been there and I've seen it firsthand. Most of these leftists out here, I would dare say, have never stepped foot outside of this country. These millennials, and I'm just putting on millennials, some of these Gen, Gen Xers too, late Gen Xers, and some of these uh, people don't understand that America is called the land of the brave and the home of the free for a reason. There are certain freedoms. When I went to Brazil, I saw firsthand how bad other countries have it. How kids run the street with no clothes on and no one to take care of them. They run in packs because they can only survive together. We don't see that kind of poverty here in America, but yet people want to down this country because they think we're so bad, whatever. But Nicki Minaj has a different perspective because she's actually been to other countries, particularly in China, which is what she's talking about. So again, this is first hand information. She says here, she warned about cancel culture's insidious effects on free speech. She says here, quote, but don't y'all see what's effing happening? She said, don't y'all see that we are living now in that time where people will turn their back on you for not agreeing? People will isolate you if you simply speak and ask a question. And that is exactly what she did. She simply asked a question. Don't buy into this narrative that she told people what to do about this, about, about, about the coof, about the JAB. She didn't. She just said, pray about it and do whatever. Again, check out the video. I'm going to post a little bit later on that. She went out and faced widespread criticism on her social media posts for expressing skepticism over the coof. And so right now I'm going to take a step further beyond what Nicki Minaj is saying and talk about China and their cultural revolution. I'm going to read you a snippet from Wikipedia, which as we all know, is not a bastion of conservative news, but I went to Wikipedia and searched for cultural revolution. I'm going to read you what it says about this and what Wikipedia says the cultural revolution is in China. It says here, the cultural revolution, formerly the great proletarian cultural revolution was a violent social political movement in China from 1966 until Mao Zedong death in 1976. Mao Zedong, chairman of the Chinese Communist Party, CCP, and founder of the People's Republic of China, PRC, his stated goal was to preserve Chinese communism by purging remnants of capitalism and traditional elements from Chinese society. During Cultural Revolution, political dissidents of the revolution were censored and prosecuted. In addition, many elements of Chinese history, such as statues, were destroyed. <laughs> I mean, come on! Seriously? Seriously, people. And no one is picking up on this. No one's connecting the dots on this. It is really insane. We did a, a video on the cultural revolution a little bit in an expose. I'll pull it up and I'll put a link below, whatever. Talk about that, how they were doing shaming parties and stuff. It was really, really a horrible time in China. Does that sound like anything you know about today, particularly here in America? I would submit that Nicki Minaj is right on point with her arguments. And I think she has history to back it up. And Wikipedia, again, backs it up. And I would recommend everyone to go and check out the Cultural Revolution of China and comment below and let me know what you come up with. Do you see any similarities with this cancel culture that we're seeing today? Let me know, again, in the comments below. I'd be curious to know what you think. And as a quick reminder, check out gate.theconservativetake.com. I have videos out there where I go unfiltered, uncensored. Check it out there. It's free to sign up. Just check it out. I have other videos, again, that I can't say here. 
And also there are some related videos that we have on this channel that we picked up for you right here.